What's up, Pisces? Let's see what's going on for you guys. It's a timeless reading for Pisces. You guys, please um, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. If you guys are enjoying these readings, let's see what the messages are for Pisces at this time. General messages for Pisces, the collective Pisces. Collective Pisces. Messages for the collective Pisces at this time. Messages for Pisces collectively at this time. Y'all, this is usually like my love deck, so probably get love messages from here. But let's just see. All right. Some more. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's popping. We'll start with these. All right. So we have the lovers in the reverse. Five of wands in the reverse. The hermit. In the reverse, nine of swords, okay, and we have seven of wands in the reverse as well, okay, so yeah, Pisces, ooh, not so good energy here, not so good energy, okay, um, Pisces, I feel as if right now a lot of you guys are having a difficult time with the separation of um, some sort of partner that you had, soulmate connection, um, could be a past lover, something of that sort, okay? You definitely fell out with someone. Um, there could have been some sort of conflict, some sort of competition, envy, jealousy, something was at play here, and um, a hopeful situation, something that, you know, at one point in time was very hopeful, it was on that route to success, okay? It's not there anymore. Somebody feels as if um, this situation has completely fallen apart. And, you know, it's really hard to see them getting this thing back on the off the ground again, okay? This Nine of Swords here. I see a lot of air energy, a lot of fire energy. Um, also, Virgo here with the Hermit. So, you guys could be dealing with air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe definitely Gemini with the lovers, um, maybe a Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius. Okay. So a bunch of signs on the table here, but I feel like somebody ultimately just gave up on this connection. They just thought it was going to be super successful. Somebody had their hopes up really, really high. And, um, unfortunately the connection could not meet those hopes. It just couldn't meet those standards. Okay. Somebody is in complete isolation here. Um, one or both parties are having very sleepless nights, okay? I feel like there's a lot of mental ex exhaustion here. Somebody feels as if they were just done so wrong, you know? Like, they feel like they cannot get past the pain, um, the anxiety, the hopelessness. They had so much hope in this situation is what I feel, and now it's just like they're giving up on it. It's really, really tearing somebody apart. OK, the levers in the reverse here. This was a spiritual connection. This was somebody who you perceive to be your soulmate Pisces or this person perceived for you to be um, their soulmate. Definitely dealing um, quite possibly with a Gemini, like I said, maybe a Leo, too. But I feel like, you know, Cupid shot both of you guys here with the levers. Cupid shot both of you. And for some reason, either anxiety, envy, jealousy, quite possibly conflict and competition from outside forces, they could have came in and really, really just separated you guys, really separated you. And one person um, kind of fled and another person, you know, as much as they wanted it to work out, it's like they had no choice but to roll over and die pretty much. <laughs> roll over and freaking die. Like this five of wands here is, in the reverse it's like somebody definitely did not want to have a conflict with um with the other person somebody was really willing to bite their tongue in order to kind of let things be peaceful but you know that's just not the way spirit wants things to play out sometimes the air has to be cleared you know truth has to come out people have to fall out that's look that looks like what happened here it really does um and now, I think the mutual energy is that both parties want to give up on it. Both parties have given up on it. All right. Let's see. Can we clarify this for Pisces? Princess of Wands here. So, it's still a dream for both of you guys. 
All right. Somebody doesn't want to completely give up on it. But the seven of pentacles, yeah, somebody just can't wait any longer. They feel like they're waiting in vain. They feel like this is a complete failed situation. You know, they're very inspired by this connection. Either you or the person you're dealing with is super inspired um, by the connection. It could have um, to do with children. So maybe you have a child by this person or, or this person has a child outside of you, vice versa. Okay. Also, I feel like you could feel very... Um, passionately like excited with this person this person brings out childlike energy from you and it, this person is just like a dream of yours you know you feel very hopeful but at the same time you and the person you're dealing with Pisces this is like a failed situation to both of you guys the hope is there the dream is there but there's no movement there's no foundation there's no security um there's no commitment. What's the um, most likely outcome for this situation for Pisces? What's the advice for Pisces? Okay. So we have temperance in the reverse. Princess of Pentacles in the reverse. And the King of Swords here. Hmm. Okay, somebody is super over waiting for this connection. I feel like the advice is, you know, someone is done waiting on this connection. Um, I don't think you guys should wait around for a person, especially if you have no idea if they're going to come back towards you. But this is something spiritual, you know, the temperance here, um, the other, other major arcanas, the lovers here. This is a soulful spiritual connection. And it's like as much as somebody may want this to come together here. It's just not happening. You know, the princess of pentacles, this is very telling because our princess of wands is upright, which is all about spark and in a dream and passion and inspiration and such. But the princess of pentacles, you know, the more grounded energy, the more promising energy is in the reverse. So somebody is just not sure that like how they feel, you know, passionately, emotionally is worth putting forth any real effort they just don't see they're just not sure they're just not sure if they should wait out on this um there's a complete lack of patience somebody just does not want to wait on this connection anymore all right and like the princess of pentacles in the reverse is just like why am i waiting because it's almost like this is just a dream Either this person is really lazy, they're not going to come towards me, or I'm feeling lazy about the connection because I don't trust it. It hasn't paid off for me yet. Those are the energies at play here, okay? But this King of Swords, this King of Swords coming through, all right? Somebody who is not really attached to their emotions, they could be coming through to deliver some sort of news, Pisces. Um, this could be you as well, but this is a very powerful intellectual person who is strategizing here and they're going to deliver the truth. Okay. This person came upright. So whether this truth is harsh, this may be hurtful. This may be freeing. This may be exciting. It doesn't matter what the truth is. This person has the balls to deliver it to you. Could be a woman, could be a man. I don't know. None of that matters really, but this person, somebody who has air type of energy, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is very smart. This person's very powerful, intellectual. They've thought long and hard about this situation. They could be in a place where they can't really, this King of Swords energy, they don't really know emotionally. Like they can't really process these spiritual, these emotional, these soulful things that they're feeling. They don't know how to process that. So that could be why a person has, has been in isolation, but they're coming. They're coming here. One, two, three. Could be three days. Could be three weeks. I feel like somebody is coming though. Plus we have this triangle right here. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be like three days, three weeks, three something. It's going to be in threes. Maybe it's like the third time you try reaching out or the third time this person tries reaching out, they get through to you. I don't know. But somebody is going to deliver some sort of communication that's going to be very powerful to this connection. Okay, three of wands. It could be more delays, more obstacles. Like I said, this could be a truth that somebody don't want to hear. Somebody doesn't want to hear it. But this person knows that if they don't deliver this um, message, that this this connection's over. So somebody is definitely taking the effort to at least communicate something, even if it's something tough. 
Okay, yeah, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Wow. Yeah, I feel like somebody is communicating something very, very tough here. It's going to be not so good news, okay, but it's going to be the truth. So either you, Pisces, or the person you're dealing with, y'all have to be, uh, you know, willing to accept the truth here, okay? But this is going to bring a lot more delays, um, a lot more, I feel like, frustration, on one person's side okay we have the queen of wands and it's like when the queen of wands in the, is in the reverse it's like oh just get out the way get out the way okay because the queen of wands in the reverse this news somebody could be very upset by what they are being told okay this could be in regards to a fire sign a leo sagittarius aries um someone older this could be communication that this king of swords has decided to move on with this queen of wands type of energy um or this queen of wands maybe um found out about this connection with you pisces and now she's very upset or he's very upset there's just a lot of delays a lot of obstacles here and somebody's not going to be happy about it okay but there's definitely information coming if you've been waiting for information it's coming i want clarification this queen of wands in the reverse kind of just very universe What's this queen of wands in the reverse? The empress in the reverse. Oh my God. This could be, um, and the two of swords in the reverse. Yeah. This ain't getting no better y'all. So yeah, this could definitely be information in regards to, like I said, a mother figure or another woman who's very, very upset here. Okay. About what's going on. This could be someone that this person has children with, okay? Or you could have children with this person. Somebody's pissed, okay? Pissed that something is not growing. Someone's not giving something any more attention. And somebody's stalling. A decision is not being made here, Pisces. This this current situation, for whoever this resonates with, this is a, a long-lasting situation. And it's not coming to an end no time soon, okay? I feel like communication is coming that's going to piss someone off. And someone is going to go cold again and be undecisive again. Indecisive. That's all we get in is a bunch of indecision. All right. Let's pull some messages from the I Ching of Love deck to see what the energy is for this connection. All right. So we have love yourself in the reverse and we have witness in the reverse 52 and 42. Wow. Somebody is not loving themselves in this connection and witness in the reverse. I'm going to say, I feel like somebody is turning a blind eye to something. Okay. This card says, if you are in a state of upheaval, if love is upsetting you with its upheaval, find in yourself a space of calmness in which to hang out. All right. So, yeah, this whole situation could be very much so um, disturbing to you, Pisces. You could be really struggling right now with self-love, self-worth, trying to understand what's happening here in this connection. You know, how did it go wrong? What's all this animosity about? Um, when is this movement going to happen? You're very distraught, okay? I feel like spirit is telling you to really find peace in this situation. Um, try to just let things play out the way they need to, okay? And never forget that you have to love yourself first before you get any type of real love that comes into your life, all right? So Pisces, please let me know if these messages helped you in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I am not taking personals right now. I appreciate you guys reaching out and asking and requesting but the website is down i'm not taking personals at the moment but please um stay tuned for other things that i have going on all right so yeah i'll talk to you guys later bye